the day kind of way. This is another one that, that we wrote with uh, Brad and Kyle. This was definitely the most difficult write of this whole process. Um, this song kind of came about, I was, as a songwriter, you know, if you're a songwriter, you have a million times in your life where you say something and you're like, oh, that's, that's a song title. <laughs> uh, nine times out of ten, you never think about it again. Mm -hmm. You might write it down, but it never becomes a song. Uh, this one, you know, I was having a conversation and uh, I just said, you know, that's like a back in the day kind of way. And that just, it stuck with me. And when we got into the right, I pitched it. And it was like one of those that's like, yeah, that's cool. Let's see what else we can come up with. We ended up deciding on it. We started writing the song. And I think we got like six words down on the paper and we were like, it's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. We got we got to write a different song. So we actually stopped writing this song. Um, we threw around a bunch of other titles, and finally it was like, let's go back, let's write back in the day kind of way. And uh, I'm really glad that we we came back to it and, and wrote it because it uh, I think it fits us perfectly. This is one of those songs that I really it. I had to be convinced of it. Um, we, we, we left the writer's room and, you know, I wasn't super excited about it. I kind of like listened to it back. I was like, I just don't think that that one's it. You know, Dylan just kept saying, you know, just listen to it. Just listen to it. Keep listening to it. I promise it'll grow on you. Eventually we ended up listening to it. And then I think Dylan, like, I, he was like, he was like, he just started speaking the words of the song to me. It remind me how it's supposed to be. If it ain't like we planned it, don't take it for granted. Make a believer out of me. And like the second he like said that, I was like, those lyrics are it. That's that's us. That's how we live our everyday life. You know, this song is it's about our lives, and uh, that's important for for me. Anytime that you know we write or especially when we're going to release music is I want it to be something that you know we can go back and listen to and be like man that's where we were at in our lives when we wrote that song and uh you know Megan and I we live full time on an RV uh it's us and the dog and uh you know we we don't have a lot we don't need a lot you know and, and this song is kind of about you know not focusing on the things things come and go you know there's there's a bunch of stuff in the world but, you know, the thing that's important to us is our relationship. I think when recording, um, you know, you get you have a lot of special moments, something that that has never happened before that just happens in studio. It's a very magical thing to experience. And I feel like with this one, when uh, cutting vocals for it, um, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, lay low a little bit with this song and um, get a little bit of that softer side and uh, really like let you know let the song happen and speak for itself. I was offered a million dollars to you know pitch this song. I, I really I don't think I could do it. For me watching Megan cut vocals on this song I feel it uh, and I feel what she feels and uh, honestly it's probably my favorite part of this whole process of making this this record i feel like this one definitely is is the most fitting for like where we're at in our lives right now